This video is for review quiz P.2. And for this section, we're just working with um, exponential expressions and using their laws and their properties to do so. Now, this first, first problem, we have two like bases. That's because of a base of x and a base of x. Uh, if you have two like bases then and you're dividing them, then you subtract the exponents. So x squared over x to the negative 8. This is the same thing as x to the power of the top minus the bottom. Negative and a minus, they cancel, giving us x to the 2 plus 8, which is just x to the 10. That's how you use that quotient rule, as it's called. All right here we have two things that are multiplying. And I'm going to simplify this thing a little bit by writing the kind of common things next to each other. Everything in here is multiplying, so I can rearrange this as much as I'd like. I can drop the parentheses because they don't actually mean anything here. So I'm going to write it as 4 times 2 times x to the 9 times x to the 6. 4 times 2 is 8. And x to the 9 times x to the 6, these are like bases that are multiplying. In the previous problem, we had like bases that are dividing, and we subtracted. Here we have like bases that are multiplying, so we should add the exponents. So we have x to the 9 plus 6, and that's, of course, x to the 15. 8x to the 15 is our answer. That's correct. Okay, once again, we have two things that are dividing here, but it's a little bit longer, so let's talk about that. x squared y to the fifth over 45 x to the fifth y to the negative 2. Now, what I like to do here, um, you don't have to do this, but I like to do it, is to separate the things over the, the common bases. So, for instance, we have just numbers here, we have x's, and we have y's. So I'm going to rewrite this as 10 over 45 times x squared over x to the fifth times y to the fifth over y to the negative two. I haven't changed the problem at all. I've just split up the fraction over these specific parts. And that's just to make it easier for me to know what I'm trying to uh, reduce and what are, what are kind of like, like things, like bases, like, like terms, that kind of idea. This first one, I have 10 over 45. I can reduce this by 5. Divide top by 5 is 2. Divide uh, the bottom by 5, which is 9. Now here I have like bases, x and x, that are dividing. So once again, I subtract. So we have 2 over 9. And then multiplied by, uh, when I do this, I'm going to have it on top. x to the 2 minus 5. 2 minus 5 is negative 3 is over 1. When you actually do that, it just becomes this over 1. And the last one is 5 minus negative 2. It's going to be 5 plus 2 or 7. Now, the, the uh, question is asking for using positive exponents only. And right here, I have a negative exponent. The way we can rectify that is by taking this thing and moving it to the bottom. We leave the power, but we change it to a positive. If there's a negative in the exponent, it flips either to the bottom if it's in, if it's in the top or to the top if it's in the bottom, but whichever way it needs to go. This one was in the top, so I move it to the bottom. That'll give it a positive exponent. So in total, or uh, as the final answer, I should say, we have 2, uh, y to the 7th is on top. On bottom, we have 9 and x cubed, not x to the negative 3, x cubed. Once you flip it, that's when the negative goes, goes away. That should be our final answer there. 2y to the power of 7 over 9x to the power of 3. And that's correct. Okay, this is very similar, except it's just longer. So we have x squared, y cubed, z to the fifth, all over. Uh, x to the negative 2, y to the negative 3, and z to the negative 5. 
all of it's inside of a negative four power. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the inside. And this is kind of already separated, uh, right? We have the X's here and we have the Y's here. So I'm not gonna do the, th the same thing I did last time. They're kind of already separated there. We have X, X to the two over X to the negative two, like bases that are dividing. So two minus negative two becomes X to the fourth y to the three over y to the negative three is y to the three minus negative three. So y to the sixth. And then z to the five minus negative five is z to the 10. And all this is to the power of negative four. Now this is a power that's um, got things multiplying on the inside. One of the, the rules of exponents says we can distribute this power into the inside things. And what's important to note here is that you distribute them into the powers. You don't multiply the things by negative four. You distribute the negative four and you multiply into the powers. So the negative four gets distributed into the 10, into the six, and into the four, not into the x, the y, and the z. Okay. So that becomes x to the negative 16, y to the negative 24, and z to the negative 40. And you'll see it says use positive exponents only, meaning all of this stuff needs to flip into the denominator. Our final answer is going to be 1 over x to the 16, y to the 24, and z to the 40. All right, let's see if that's correct. y to the power of 24 and z to the power of 40. And it is. Uh, once again, this power gets distributed into the powers. So just as a, as a quick kind of aside, if I had something like 2x to the power of 3, I distribute the 3 into the powers. There is no power written, but there's always a 1 there. This is going to be 2 cubed x cubed not 2 times 3 and x times 3 2 times 3 times and x times 3 would be uh, 2 times 3 is 6 x times 3 is just 3x and that would be 18x but this is 8x cubed very different answer so this is incorrect make sure you distribute it into the powers all right, let's move on. Here I have scientific notation, which is just a way of writing very large numbers in a more manageable way to, to, to work with them. And how it works is you always put the decimal point after the first non-zero number. So for six, 653,000, the decimal point is not written, which means it's right there at the very end. And I'm going to move it, counting the spaces. One, two, three, Four, five. This is the first non-zero number, so the decimal point goes right after that. This gives me 6.53. Now, of course, these two numbers are not the same, and we rectify this again by multiplying by 10 to some power. And the power of 10 is going to be how many spaces you move. If you move it in this direction, that's a positive number. That's because we're, we have a very large number, 653,000. And 10 to the 5 is a very large number. If we move it the other way, this would be a negative, And that designates a very small number. So a negative power designates very small. Positive power designates a very large number. OK, 6.53. They have this fancy x down there times 10 to the power of 5. All right. Now this is a very small number, so it's going to be a similar process. One, two, three, four, one. First non-zero number, that's the four, so we're going to go one, two, three, four places. So I get 4.1 times 10 to the one, two, three, four. This is a very small number, so I'm going to make this negative four. And that will be, make it a very small. So make sure the positive and negative exponents are the correct 
thing. That's probably the most the, the trickiest part of scientific notation. Power of negative four. Okay. Here we have two scientific notation numbers that are multiplying. These are pretty easy to handle because we can use properties of exponents, the rules we kind of went over in the previous problems. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this uh, with the like the common things next to each other, those being the 2.1 and the 3.4. And then that's being multiplied by the 10 to the 14 and the 10 to the negative 11. This, 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 and of course the operation between them, it's all multiplication. So multiplication is commutative. You can move them around as much as you like, as long as they're all multiplying, in which they are. So 2.1 times 3.4, let's pull up the calculator, gives us 7.41. Is that right? That seems wrong. No, 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 that, that's correct. And here we have like bases, 10 to the 14 and 10 to the 11. They are multiplying, so we add the exponents. 14 plus a negative 11. 14 plus negative 11, that's the same thing as 14 minus 11, which is 3. This is our, this is our answer in scientific notation. Just so you know what it is, it's the same thing as 7,410. Move, move the decimal point three places back. This is again a large number, so it's gonna be 7,410. But we write 7.41. Oh uh, yeah, it says rounded two decimal places needed, so I just need to make sure my answer is correct, and it, and it should be 10 to the power of three. Okay, let me take a moment and see what I did wrong here. I figured it out. I wrote I wrote the um, decimal number wrong. It's 7.14, not 7.41. It's so easy to do when you're working with numbers all the time. Um, so <laughs> just be careful when you're writing them out. Um, but 7.14, if you try this, it's correct. So the process is all correct. Just make sure you, you write the number. Don't do what I did. 7.14, I had it correct. I just wrote it wrong. All right, last problem is going to be division of scientific notation here. Uh, 1.8 times 10 to the 6. Write that a little better. 2 times 10 to the 2. So uh, this is really just the same process we did last time. Um, we're going to divide the like things, which is kind of right here. 1.8 over 2 and then 10 to the 6 over 10 to the 2. So 1.8 over 2, make sure I read it correctly this time, is 0 0.9. So we have 0 0.9. This is going to be times like bases that are dividing is 10 to the 6 minus, or I should say uh, 10 to the 6 minus 2. So 10 to the 6 minus 2, which is 10 to the 4. Now if you try this answer, times 10 to the power of 4. It is incorrect. So this process is correct. I didn't I didn't write the number number down wrong. The reason why it's incorrect is because this is not scientific notation. The decimal must be after the first non-zero number. And zero is the first number here. So that's that's incorrect. The way we can change that is by moving the decimal over one place. Now, what that'll do is that'll change this power. For me, I never remember which way it moves. Is it, is it a minus one or a plus one? Because it's, it's gonna be one of those two things. Is it gonna be three for the power of 10 or five for the power of 10? And um, it can be hard, there, there is rules for that. You can, you can look that up. But what's easiest for me is to think about this not as a sign of a notation, but as the full number. 10 to the four is four places move, so one, two, three, four. Every place you move, add a zero there. This number is really the same thing as 9,000. And now it's very easy to see 
um, what the sign of notation is, all I have to do is move it back. One, two, three. And this is just nine times 10 to the three. So the rules can be, uh, you, you can memorize them, or you can just convert it to the full number and then convert it back. It's pretty simple to do. It tends to be very fast. So when we type this number in, nine times 10 to the three, we get a, a, a correct answer. That's because this is in scientific notation.